Sorry, you caught me. I'm playing with the thousand cubic centimeters right here. So let me put that up. Sorry about that. Hey guys, let's go over your do now. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the flex cam. I'm gonna pause it real quick here. Thank you for waiting. Let's make sure everything's working well here. Let's get back here. So we have seven inches at a square. And yesterday you guys reminded me that a square has equal sides. So I know that the area is the length times the width. Hmm, that's part of the volume, isn't it? Hmm, got to remember that. Okay, length times width. That's 7 times 7 equals 49 inches squared. The next one is a rectangle with the length of 7 inches times 5 inches. Teachers, I want you to pause the video so that our scholars can go ahead and write their answer in the open-ended question here. Pausing in three, two, one. Excellent. Glad to see you all are learning your multiplication. Yes, seven times five is 35. But we got to remember to put the unit squared because we're taking the area. The next one, a quick answer is 24 centimeters squared. It's six, a rectangle is six of length, and the width is four. Guys, the next one we looked at, we're getting volume. And to do volume, we multiply the length times the width times the height. For area, it's length times width. Do you see something there? Ooh, look at this combination. I think we're going to be using it down here. Hmm, how does it get simplified? But anyway, let's get started. Four times, four centimeters times five centimeters times two centimeters. Going to be pausing the video. You all have about 30 seconds to get this answered. There's an open-ended question there. Pausing in three, two, one, pause. Mm, yes, love it, love it. You guys, even for a Friday, you guys are on fire. I love it. You all are working it out. Yes, four times five is 20 times two equals 40. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now we're gonna have a little more, little difficult one. Here we have the area already worked out for us, which is the length times the width, and we're multiplying it by nine. What is 12 times nine? 12 times nine. I'm gonna pause the video with an open-ended question. Teachers, you know what to do. Excellent, heard some good answers and the right answer. Actually, the right answer is 100. That's 18. Carry 1. 9 plus 1 is 10. So the total is 108 feet cubed. And the last one should be fairly easy. I'm going to go ahead and do that for time's sake. Uh, 40 times 7. Well, 4 times 7 is 28. Uh, it's a multiple of 10. I add a 0. So it's 280 feet cubed. These are the answers to this. What we're going to be doing is getting started with our vocabulary. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to that. Perfect. All right. Guys, we have vocabulary here. This is something you have already had. There's no change to that. I do have two pages. We have volume on here. That's the amount of space in a 3D object. The formula is length times width times height. A unit cube means that that cube has one or the length, the width, and the height are all the same. The next one has area. Area is defined as length times width. 
And the new word that we have here is milliliter. And milliliter is a metric unit of volume equal to one one thousandth of a liter. That means it takes 1,000 milliliters to make a liter. I'm going to pause or wait about 15 seconds here. I'll make it about 20 seconds so that you can go ahead and write this down in your notebook. You should be writing down milliliter, a metric unit of volume equal to one one thousandth of a liter. You have about 10 more seconds out of the 20 seconds. Three, two, one. All right, guys, hopefully you got that. I'm gonna leave it there while I talk about what we're gonna do today. Today, you're gonna to find volume. I'm gonna be taking a container and I'm gonna be going to a different room. A lot smaller than this because I don't have that many cubes, but it's gonna be a little bit smaller and we're gonna be putting some cubes in there. But then I'm also gonna to wanna to find out what are some other things I can fill it with? And can I find the volume with that too? So let's go downstairs and find out. I'm gonna go into the kitchen area. because That's where most of the stuff is. While we're doing that, I'm gonna have a piece of paper, which I'll show you downstairs, that I'm gonna want you to fill out. So I want you to take notes so that you can go ahead and just fill it right in when we get started. All right, I'm gonna pause the video so I can go ahead and go downstairs and set it up and we can do our little experiments. Yeah, it's gonna be kind of like science today. See you in three, two, one on the other slide. 